I love pickled stuff and I love stuff that's fairly healthy. We got some turnips out of the garden and we had a few beets. Mm -hmm. And what we didn't have, we went shopping for and we found these at our favorite place to shop. And uh, these come from Rolling Fork Farm, I think through Casey Organics. Uh -huh. And these are turnips, but they're Japanese turnips. They're kind of mild, but they have a little, right. little, little peppery, little sweet taste. Now our turnips, as you can see, they, they're not as pretty as those. But if you peel them, they're pretty. But if you peel them, right. they're beautiful. Yeah. Now look, here's our end product right here. Look what a beautiful jar. That's pretty. Now you wonder how our pickled turnips get this color? How do they you, get that color? You put a slice of beet in it. Oh. Now, let's get started here. I'm going to give you the whole recipe right up front. So if you got something to write with, grab it right now. Um, this is for about eight little paint jars. You're going to need eight cups of turnips. Now you can cut those in wedges or slices or however you want to do that. For each jar, you want a pretty thick slice of a beet in there to give it that nice color and taste. Four garlic cloves, and you're just going to cut those in little slices. Three cups of distilled white vinegar, three cups of water, two tablespoons plus two teaspoons of kosher salt, two tablespoons of sugar, a cinnamon stick, a bay leaf in each one, and you can use peppercorns, you can use cloves, or you can use a pickling spice combination, which we're going to cheat and do that today. Now, the first thing we need to do, now since these are beautiful, wonderful, they are nice, uh, turnips, we're not going to have to peel those. So if you'll cut those into nice little slices, just thick enough so imagine when you're taking a bite of it, you want it to still be nice and crisp. That's perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Imagine just, those are good. We gave you the whole recipe. We're probably going to do about half of that today. All right, let's talk about turnips. First of all, they're good raw. Mm -hmm. You can also make them just like you make mashed potatoes. I would like that. Let's talk about nutritional value of turnips. Listen okay. to this. Turnips are obviously very low calorie. They're root vegetables. 28 calories per 100 grams. They're full of antioxidants, minerals, vitamins, and fiber. Hmm. Vitamin B6, on and on and wow. on. It's good for you. I mean, basically, these are not hot packed. We're not canning them. We're putting them in the jar, along with a couple other items. Mm -hmm. We're pouring the boiling solution over top of them, closing the top, mm -hmm. letting them cool, putting them in the refrigerator, eating them a week later. How long do they last, did it say? They last, I don't think you'd want to keep them for over a couple months. Now, okay. it's got vinegar in them, it's got so salt, so it probably yeah. lasts a long right. time. But let's look at this as an item you want to keep in your refrigerator. Okay. I could sit down and eat that whole jar. I know you could. I like salty, vinegary yeah. stuff. All right, now Nikki has peeled a beet. Now I want every part of this raw without any skin on it so it can leach that color out into this. Smell that? Isn't that good? Oh, it smells heavenly. Those are mighty good for you too. Now let's let's take three pretty good slices, one for each jar. And again, we're doing a half a recipe today. But if you got a bunch of turnips, you can talk about high yield for low energy and really good stuff for you. And you can use it just like a potato. All you do is sprinkle seeds in a little in a little trough. So simple. And guess what? You have turnip greens and you have turnips. It's so simple and the yield that you have is just extraordinary. All right, now let's see if we've got three jars worth. Let's really pack them in there good. Let's go ahead and take uh, some, some of our garlic and let's put it you, you know, want that slice every thinly. so often. Yeah, slice those real thin. And just we're going to take these and, and divide these up amongst the jars. Little by little, layer by layer, so the flavor, the flavor is throughout. All right, now we're going to go ahead, once we get about to the middle of the jar, also something we can go ahead and do is take a cinnamon stick and put in each jar. Just slide that down on the side, put one in each jar. Gives a nice flavor. And one bay leaf. You know bay leaves, you buy a jar of them, they're terribly expensive, but it's funny in Louisiana, down south they're laying all over the forest floor. You pick them up, piles of them for free. In the middle of each jar, we're going to stick us a big old slice of beet for color. You know, when you talk to the old timers, everybody, everybody grew turnips. And everybody ate turnips. A lot of people eat them raw. All right, now I'm going to put just a couple of these whole Tella cherry peppercorns in there. I heard Colonel Sanders, that is the pepper 
Wow. Reportedly that he used in KFC. That would be a good gift for Glenn this Christmas. <laughs> that would be just a, a wonderful huge gift. one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, let's go ahead and take one little slice of onion, put it across the top, real thin. Actually, we'll just use take a couple of these part. rings for that. A couple rings for that. Now, we are ready to start our solution. The last and final step before we start this goodness. I'll go ahead and pour the vinegar in. Okay. You'll follow up the water. And then you think about each jar is probably going to have a half a teaspoon of this mixed pickling spice. After that comes in, we're going to add our sugar, now salt. Okay, now that we've got everything in here, we're going to start the boil. What we're going to do, once we get our salt and sugar, you see that it's dissolved. That's the time when you start the boil. When it's boiling at that point, boil it for a couple of minutes. That's all it takes, two, three minutes. We're not canning here. We're just pouring this hot solution over, letting them cool, and then put them in the refrigerator and you get you a quick and easy snack. Yeah. And it goes along with anything. Now me, there's sometimes I just want a snack and instead of sitting down and having a bag of potato chips, I can eat a bunch of them or our corn back there. Corn relish. Which I might have to have some of that back there in a minute. And let's see how many people out there, let's see a show of hands, how many people actually tried our corn relish? Wow, wow, that's a bunch, how about yeah. that? All right, here we go. All right, we got a boil going here. And if you're thinking, oh no, I didn't write the recipe down. Well, guess what? We'll make it easy for you. TimFarmersCountryKitchen.com, all our recipes are on there. And if you got a bunch of turnips laying around, go out and pull you a few, make yourself a great snack. If not, we know several places on our Facebook page where you can go get them. Oh, Facebook page. Hmm. Check out our Facebook page and like it. And we are there. Now, if you will, I promise I'll try not to burn you. We're going to take our solution. And you can see the beets are already starting to bleed out in there a little bit. Give it that, Give it that color. color. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of our pickling spices and put them in the top. And you think, really, there's a minimal amount of sugar in here. There's not much salt. Mm -mm. You know, if you look at what's in a potato chip, and you think about all the fat in a typical snack, you just don't have that in here. Now, it's funny, as these set, they get pinker and pinker, and then they start to finally get that wonderful red color. Not and when good. they cool down, and they'll actually seal, put them in the refrigerator, let them set for about a week, and then you can commence to snacking.